What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the UE4 client game has crashed and will close error you are getting when trying to play Wuthering Waves on your PC. First, you should verify the integrity of your game files. To do this, open the Epic Games Launcher, find Wuthering Waves in your library, right click on it and select Manage before clicking on the Verify option. This process will check for and repair any corrupted files ensuring that your game installation is intact. Next, try launching Wuthering Waves directly through the launcher as opposed to the Epic Game Store. Navigate to the Install folder for the game by opening your file explorer. Here, head to the drive on which you saved the game on. Program Files, Epic Games, Wuthering Waves. Locate the exe launcher file and double click it to start the game directly. You can create a shortcut for this game launcher to prevent using Epic Games to launch Weathering Waves, preventing the UE4 client game has crashed error you are getting. If you've installed Weathering Waves to the official website, there are additional troubleshooting steps you can take. Open the Weathering Waves launcher. Click on the wrench icon in the top right corner of the page. This will check for issues with the game files and repair them automatically. When this is done, Head back to your Wuthering Waves game files in your file explorer. Locate the exe launcher file for Wuthering Waves. Right click on the file and select Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab and check the box that says Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Click Apply and then OK to save the changes. Another useful step is to choose the recommended scale and layout for your display settings. Open your Windows settings by right clicking your desktop. Ensure the recommended scale and layout settings are applied. Incorrect display settings can sometimes cause compatibility issues with games. Updating your graphics card drivers is crucial for ensuring smooth gameplay and preventing errors. You can use the GeForce Experience or NVIDIA app to install the latest graphics driver for NVIDIA graphics cards. Or use the AMD Radeon software. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.